In my last short, we took a look at how we could decompile the pseudocode for a Linux binary using Ghidra, but depending on how basic the binary is, sometimes all we have to do is run strings against that binary to potentially get plain text words like hard-coded credentials in the case of password manager here. So if you missed the last video, we have a password manager binary where if we hit enter, we are prompted to enter a mastered password. And if we type in the wrong one, we get access denied, this incident will be reported. So we can assume somewhere in this binary file is the password to compare to. So instead of running Ghidra and decompiling the whole binary to look for the pseudocode that has the hard credentialed password, we may be able to just run strings against it to extract any plain text words and may give us the plain text password that way. So the first and easiest way to do this is just to type strings and then the name of the binary file, in this case, password manager, hit enter. And here we get a list of all the plain text strings that it could find with just the default setup. If we were to look through all this text, we probably won't find anything interesting. None of these appear to be a password. If we do see the welcome to Josh manager, please enter your password. But right after that, we just see access granted, it catting out home to play creds, or access denied, this incident will be reported. I don't see anything that looks like a password in this output. So let's list out the options that we have with strings by doing strings-h. And one thing we could try is using the dash e flag to change the character size and endianness. So I think by default it does the little s for 7-bit encoding. If we hit enter, we see that we get pretty much the same output. So we can just go down the list of the different options that we have of little s, big s, little b, little l, big b, big l, and see if we get any different results. So now let's try big s. Once again, we see the same output. Let's try little b. And we see this time we get just one string of sample, which sounds like it could be the password. So let's test this theory and run the password manager binary. Type in our password of sample and we get access granted. 